Uh, since you guys are so interested in yachting and what's happening with the crew and what people do and where we stay and how we do certain things, I figured today would be a good opportunity to show you what's inside a super yacht cleaning locker. Mainly because I have to clean it out today and I figured what a cool opportunity to show you actually what's inside. Old and busted, brand new, new and small, and like a vintage Shorehold blue brush. One yellow one, slightly thicker, mainly for like the deck, never for the paint. It's just too, too rough. <sighs> Chamois mops, put this on the end of a pole, dry the boat, dry the deck. We normally keep one for the deck, one for the paintwork. This is a brand new one, so we use that one for the paintwork. And then one is like, just another one. Every new deckhand's best friend, very absorbent. We've got a couple of these spare, just below the seating area that you're watching this video on. Water blades for windows, deck blades, American water blades, good for like, getting water off different places. Fire hydrant nozzle. Incredibly useful for getting salt off windows where a chamois or something just doesn't. It's like slightly more coarse, so it just grabs the salt and it's never, never put these in soap if using it for the window because it just never comes out. Something I was taught on CR, instead of walking around holding everything in your hands and like walking and dropping stuff as you go along, put all your items into the bucket, grab the bucket, and then walk away with it. And then have a couple of different spare buckets for the soap and the water and everything else. Boat soap. This stuff lasts forever, uh, but it's also like 150 euros or 100 euros or just under 100 euros or something ridiculous. Anyway, called all wash boat soap. It's the best stuff ever. And vinegar. We've got a lot of vinegar on board. You put this in pretty much everything just to strip the salt off the boat. Clean windows with vinegar, it's the best stuff ever. Please tell me I'm recording. Stuff for stainless steel. Now this is called quick polish. You use it as a wet polish, you wet the item down first and then just rub it with a sponge. And this stuff's super quick, super awesome, but it doesn't keep the rust off. Once you've used that, we use a colonite metal wax, chuck that on and it just keeps the salt and everything off the steel for a long period of time and leaves it looking shiny for much longer. Viacol, a cheap product that you can buy at a supermarket, really good for removing watermarks. Rags, we've got like an entire box of rags in the garage at the back. You, you, always, you always use rags. Removing oil marks, adhesive cleaner, wax or gel coat, just a variety of different cleaning products. You don't need to know about all of them. Every boat will be different and the guy in charge will probably end up telling you which product he likes to use anyway. I don't normally use gloves, but when you get to a really nasty marina, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, like Naples Marina where there's like tampons and shit floating everywhere, plastic everywhere, I normally just use gloves just as a bit of protection because you get barnacles on the lines as well. These are called doodle bugs. Brown ones are much more uh, coarse, and then uh, the blue ones are not. This is for pretty much just for teak. We use it just to clean the teak, strip the teak, always against the grain, never with it, otherwise the fibers and all that catch onto the teak and actually lift them and break them. So yeah. Two winch remotes or anchor remotes for the two that are behind me, one for each side. Okay, time to clean out the locker. And that's what the inside of a cleaning locker looks like, or our cleaning locker looks like, before it was cleaned and after an entire summer of use. By the way, well done to San Lorenzo, which are the people who built this boat, for allowing us to only have a cleaning locker with an escape hatch. And that's from inside where the crew area is, which means I can't block the space and it takes up the majority of the cleaning locker. That starts the water going. And now, in a minute. 
the hell is that? I sped up. Before I get all the smart comments, all the wiring in here is completely disconnected. We've never used it, we never will, because, you know, just in case. Now that the rinsing's done, time to wash. Usually I'd put everything in a bucket, but uh, I'm just doing this space, so I'm just gonna chuck in some neat vinegar inside there, give it a nice wash with that, and that should be good. Normally, I would put soap, do the soap, wash the inside, put the vinegar after that, then do that, but it's a cleaning locker. It's gonna get dirty by like tomorrow. Bet you a like on YouTube, you have never watched somebody clean the inside of a super yacht's locker before. If you haven't, give this video a thumbs up, will you? Now that the locker's all clean, we'll just leave this to air out for the next sort of 45 minutes. And uh, while doing that, we will rearrange all of that stuff. Time to pack all this stuff away. Well, that's it. That's the inside of my cleaning locker. You've seen pretty much everything I got in there. One or two more items go down the side, but uh, that's pretty much it. Every boat is gonna be completely different on CR. We had like a cleaning locker section with like hanging brushes and everything was crazy but like i said every single boat is different at the end of the day it's just cleaning equipment and um you as a new yacht crew member are not supposed to know everything when it comes to the products and every boat uses different products so i really wouldn't sweat it too much it's really basic and at the end of the day you will be taught the things that you need to know i really hope that this was helpful for some of you i assume that this was more just helpful for the people that are interested in yachting uh but as you know i'm working on this boat for another month and a half so i'm making the most out of the yacht content that i can film now before I go back home because then there's no more yacht. So um, I will be releasing that 30 video series uh, of our trip down through Croatia with guests on and everything that we got up to and I really am excited about uh, about showing you guys all that footage so please smash that subscribe button it makes a huge difference to me you guys have been so good I am still looking to partner up with one or two yacht schools uh, around the world to be honest to be able to give back to you guys watching these videos I'm hoping to try and get you one or two free courses as a giveaway for when I hit 10,000 subscribers so any yacht uh, yacht schools out there that are interested in partnering up with me I really would like to reward some of these guys uh, I've got some really good questions in the comments and I really appreciate every single one of you watching this video thank you so much and uh, see you on the next one